Kia ora. My name is Michelle. I believe in a world that values diversity, a world where nobody should ever, ever have to stand on the margins of society, a world where we embrace our differences. In fact, we encourage them because we understand that societies, communities and countries who are diverse are so much richer and so much better. Yet here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, one in four people have a disability. Amongst those with a disability, we arguably have some of the most vulnerable people in our communities. These are people with intellectual or learning disabilities. In a recent study, they were asked, what does a good life look like for you? And you may not be surprised to understand that is no different to any of us in this room. They want to have meaningful connections, friendships. They want to belong to a community. And belonging to a community isn't just about receiving, it's the ability to give as well. They want to have something purposeful to do in their lives, something to get out of bed for in the mornings. And above all, they want a job. The sad reality is that for most people with an intellectual disability, a job will only ever be a dream. And I tell you what, that is just simply not good enough. Without a job, they're less likely to have purpose in their lives. Without a job, they're less likely to be connected to their communities. And without a job, they really, really risk isolation. So, eight years ago, I decided to leave behind a decade or so of a commercial career in large corporate companies, in high-tech companies, and in the startup world to do something about it. And I emigrated here to New Zealand, and it was the best thing that I have ever, ever done. I now have the best job in the world. I am the CEO for a company here in New Zealand in Christchurch called Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock provides a real, meaningful, exciting and tangible pathway for school leavers with disabilities. We provide options. We provide encouragement. We provide the tools that people need to be able to go on beyond Kilmarnock and to achieve the dreams of their choice in terms of their career. And I tell you what, I have the best colleagues I could ever, ever, ever wish for. Many of you who work in business will understand how hard it is to find people who are as passionate about the service and customer service and work ethics as you are. I tell you what, they're all in Christchurch at Kilmarnock, the most amazing colleagues I could ever wish for. And we win health and safety awards against commercial organizations. Beyond that, our quality is second to none. Our customers are Fonterra, Air New Zealand, the Goffs Group, Trade Aid, you name it. And everything that we do is rather good for the environment too. So we've got 30% of our trading income that comes from diverting something away from landfill. We've also worked out that actually we are perfectly positioned to help our employees to gain qualifications where the schooling system may have failed them. So as of late last year, we have launched a training academy as well. So it's not just employment we can offer, it's training and qualifications as well. We've worked out that if you're going to be successful in sustainable employment, that actually you need to look at somebody's holistic life. So we now have the most incredible health and well-being program. How many of you here as businesses would have a dance studio in your environment? We can hula hoop, we can box, you name it, we can do it. So this is my challenge to you. I believe that New Zealand has the opportunity to be the most diverse and inclusive country in the world. We can lead by example, but we need to do it together. We, we need to look beyond the disability and look at the individual and the strengths that if we come together between us, we can all achieve incredible things. Kia ora, thank you very much.